Hello, this is Brian Casey and we are here at ECR 2023 in Vienna. We have with us right now Arthur Kindle. He is Executive Vice President of the Magnetic Residence Division at Siemens Health and Ears. Arthur, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Brian. So one of the issues that I'm hearing about here on the exhibit floor is this issue of staffing. And Correct. Um, staffing has been an issue in every industry since the, the COVID pandemic happened, but it seems like in radiology, it's really manifesting itself with healthcare facilities having a hard time attracting radiographers. And, and, and in the US, we call them radiologic technologists. Is that the kind of thing that you're seeing also? Yeah, I mean, you're seeing this not only in the US, you see this as a global phenomenon. And uh, when you're saying it's uh, a challenge to attract the people, it's also a challenge to keep the people mm. uh, in the organization. When I talk to hospital CEOs, their biggest challenge is uh, the great resignation, people leaving right. the business. And how to make a, a role attractive enough that they're staying within the business or that you're recruiting new people. And this is something that uh, we're focusing very much uh, from a Siemens Hasseniers perspective, in particular in the field of magnetic resonance uh, imaging and to provide technical but also service solutions to cover that uh, mm -hmm. challenge. And, and MR is one of the most, probably the most complicated imaging correct, modality. Yeah. So it probably yeah. takes a long time to train a, yeah. a radiographer yeah. to get to the point where they can run one of these machines. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you want to just do a basic MRI, I think that you get into fairly quickly. On the other side, when you do specialty type uh, MRI scans such as cardiac MRI, you need long years of experience uh, to get the right image quality out of the system that uh, helps the radiologists to provide a precision diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And here we're helping uh, with remote scanning uh, solutions on a technology side, but also with staffing who are the experts who could run a scan remotely for a customer, for instance. Now, you, you mentioned remote scanning. Can you talk about that a little bit and what that means? Yeah, in essence, what you do is uh, you have uh, somebody sitting in a location, either in a hospital or maybe even at home, and then uh, you're connecting the scanners uh, with that workplace of that uh, particular expert technologist, mm. and uh, he or she is then operating the MRI scanner from that central location, mm. and you can hook up uh, realistically up to three scanners at the same time, and then you have a, a tech or tech aid even in the hospital who is then taking care of the patient, and you operate mm. then a scan completely remotely. So then you could have. Uh, let's call them a super tech or a super radiographer, exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. centrally located somewhere, whether it's you know your facility or another hospital. Exactly. That could really be designing the protocols and making sure the protocols are implemented properly, and and they're carried out on site by maybe lower level personnel. Exactly. And observing it and being there uh, as uh, the person providing the necessary advice or correct things if, for instance, uh, also even a coil positioning is not done correctly, uh, to make sure that uh, you have. Uh, Following, you're following the procedures, in a sense, uh, that uh, the, ho uh, the hospital gives as a standard. And But as you keep the quality up, mm. you're rem uh, avoiding unwarranted uh, variations during the scan sure. or even scan interruptions. And by this, you're increasing the throughput, uh, essentially, as well. So it could be a productivity issue as well. As well, yeah. Good. Yeah. So um, is this something that you guys are currently offering as a product, or is this something that you're working on to yeah. get to? So the technology behind it, what we call is the so-called single virtual cockpit. Uh, which essentially offers the secure uh, remote connection from a central location to um, a number of scanners and basically you could operate a, a complete fleet of it. Mm -hmm. We do have customers who basically connected all of their scanners uh, with that uh, remote cockpit and then you have maybe one, two or three people who are operating uh, these scanners at the same time. Wow, cool. Well, that sounds awesome and uh, good luck with this product. It sounds like it's a great service and uh, we'll look forward to seeing it develop in the future. Thank you very much, Brian. All right, Arthur, thanks for being with us. Okay, thank you. All right, signing off from ECR 2023, my name is Brian Casey.